guys, today I'm going to review Planet of the Giants. Planet of Giants. First, I'm going to have this bit of vodka. Mmm, you cannot beat the bit of vodka. Right, let's review this rubbish. Is the bugger finished yet? <laughs> Planet of Giants is from season two and it's the opening story of that season. So uh, it was surprising that they did this type of story to open the season. You think they'd start with a Dalek story. But they didn't, they started with this one. At least it's got a good TARDIS crew. It's got William Hartnell as the first Doctor and his companions is Barbara, Ian and Susan. It's a strange story about the TARDIS crew getting shrunk to an inch, an inch in height, so it's a bit like Land of the Giants. And also it reminds us of a, a good film called The Incredible Shrinking Man. That, that, that's a brilliant film. It's just a pity, pity this wasn't as good. The most dangerous moment is at the point of materialization. The most dangerous. Close the door. What do you mean, close the door? Look out with your boy. It's emergency. Close the door. They opened. Doors opened before we properly materialized. But what does it mean? Hey, I walked out the bloody bugger. I was bored to buggery with it. Like on paper, it's quite an interesting plot. Insecticide that. Um, should be taken off the market because it's in killing every everything that it uses. Someone gets murdered because he was going to tell the company about the insecticide. So one of these money men shoots him and this other fella helps him get rid of the body. So it's about that really but the TARDIS crew gets shrunk to an inch because the TARDIS doors were open by accident and they find out about the murder so they get in contact with a policeman who stops it at the end. But the story involves mostly about the TARDIS crew involving ginormous insects. So you say a ginormous worm, you say a ginormous fly, you say a ginormous ant and ant eggs. So it, it's kind of like that. So it, it does sound good, but because it's a Bay Bay Say production in 1964, they spent bloody jack shit on on this production it was actually so like boring the last two episodes were melded into one episode so it's a three-parter instead of a four-parter and they got douglas canfield to do the last episode to try to save the production because even the baby say thought it was crap it's really boring i remember I, I reviewed the sensor rights and i said that was boring as hell so this is similar Doctor Who has, has its ups and downs because this story is one of the Hartnell's worst but the next story, The Dalek Invasion of Earth, our classic is his best. So it just goes to show how topsy-turvy Doctor Who is. Another thing I, I don't like about this story is the toning down William Hartnell's personality as the Doctor. Instead of him being grumpy and everything, they try in, in season two to make him lighter and kinder and more mellow overall but it takes away his personality I think and he's particularly bad in this story yeah, he's not like the bloody first doctor in this he's more like some bugger who acts out of a bloody care home soft as shit <laughs> it's unfortunate because I, I think he's a really good actor William Hartnell but he was told to tone it down, so it's a real shame. The other characters, the TARDIS crew, don't have a lot to do, but I thought Barbara was good. Jacqueline Hill's really good actress, and in this story she gets infected by some of the insecticide. She won't tell all the crew, and it's really good how she, how she's um, performing, having like an illness, and she's become snappy with them and. 
she's like getting weaker and weaker and she faints and she does a really good job in this story actually it's just a pity the story wasn't more exciting though it's really slow there's an, a really ridiculous awful bit where instead of using an effect they, they use like just a bloody picture so like there's this guy's fierce he's he's like ginormous size because he's normal size it's someone who gets shot and they use like a big picture of his face and actors are walking around in front of it talking and they use it with a few other things as well just a bloody picture a blown up picture and, and the crew just walking in front of it it looks bloody terrible it does really bad <laughs> Hey, a bloody photo of some bugger's face. The bloody baby says, right bloody skin flints. There is one or two models and sets that don't look too bad. Um, the ant doesn't look too bad. There's a set of like a sink. That that looks pretty good for, for uh, six, 1964. But overall, it, it's just like the plot that drags this down. There's not a lot you can do with um, a story about inch sized people. Like the novelty soon wears off. One good thing about this story is I like the scenes inside the TARDIS. There's a longish part in the beginning of the story where the crew are complaining about the door being open and stuff. And also there's a good segment at the end where they're inside the TARDIS and these little legs grow big. So all that was good. But overall it was just one of them stories that didn't work for me. It was slow as out. I think out of uh, 10, I'd only give it 3. 3 out Aww. of 10. I have seen a lot worse, but this is kind of bottom of the barrel, really. So what did you think, Bones? Did you like it? I thought the bugger was nowt. Bring back Jodie Whittaker. All's forgiven. Okay, everybody. Bye. 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 See you next time. Bye.